when working with the Autodesk Vault um, or any data management software, um, when you set it up right at the beginning, you point the, the file store to be saved in a certain location and you point the data uh, database, the SQL database, to also be pointed at a certain location. Now, you know, when you're working with the Vault, you know, it grows and grows and grows. And you might come to a point where you need to move the database um, to, to accommodate for more space to be allocated to it. If you don't want it to stay on the same drive, maybe repurposing that drive uh, to, to maybe help out somewhere else in the, in the company you're working at. So what we can do over there is, you know, if you don't want to move the software off the operating system or the, the server that you got, but you want to move the file store or the database, you can just move it instead of having to back up the whole thing and then restoring it onto another computer. So to find out where the, the file store in the database is located and to move it, open up your Autodesk Data Management Server Console. And on your two vaults, I've got two over here, the vault and the test, you'll see there that I've got my file store is under C, vault, vault, test. Now what I can do is I can move that file store or move the database just by right clicking on the vault and selecting move database or file store. Select move file store and it tells me where the current file store location is as well as where the new file store location is going to be. I select my little radio button over there and I'm now going to say right move it to vault fs or file store. Once that's done select OK and then hit on OK over here. Now what it's going to do is give you an error message or give you a warning that the the vault has to be locked to be able to move the file store or the database would you like to, to lock this vault now and move it or select no, we'll abort the operation and you can go warn everyone what you're doing. Okay, I've warned everyone, so let's go and lock this vault and move the file store. Okay, select it. You'll see that it's moving 1051 files in the file store from that, that vault vault test folder into my underscore uh, FS folder over there. Great, the move file store operation has been successfully finished. Select OK and you'll see that the file store path has been updated. So there it is, very, very easy to be able to um, move your file store or your database with the vault.